All right, so we're just walking down to the tunnel. We go past this house, access off the main road via a public footpath. Straight down here, as you can see, Sam's already. It's a bit sludgy. We're about four days after the floods in the new year, so uh, been a bit uh, a bit sludgy to say the least. I think the tunnel is just over there. We'll be there in a moment, hopefully. So we just come down there. It took us ages because we had to carry the dog. And then I think we're right over the mouth of the tunnel here, which we are. Now this, well, that's the noise you make when you nearly fall. Now this is Sam and Daisy's first railway tunnel, isn't it, Sam? It is, yeah. So, very ex white dog, which is now partially black. Wow, this is going to be fun. Of course, this is like I say, about four days after the major floods. So, yes, we'll go down there and then along the tunnel. So there's the railway tunnel that we're going in. A bit waterlogged, I feel. We might have a few problems today. But look at that, that is a beauty. Of course, Kelmarsh Tunnel is just further back that way. Or that way, I can't really remember. I'll tell you in a minute. Some shot off in that direction. This is either going to be very passable or not passable at all. I'm sort of split at the moment. Yes, yeah, so we might, might or might not be doing this railway tunnel today. A lot of water down there. I'll just go down here. I'm going to go down here. Yeah, I'm going to go and have a look. There's Daisy in her new camo gear. Whoa. This is um, a public footpath to. Uh, Um, I might have wet feet after this. It's, uh, you can hear it. It's apps. The water's running this way. So it's, oh. Possibly worse than it's. Wow, this is this is normally a path. I've seen photos of this, and it's just a path. Well, this is the blocked up tunnel. This ain't the right one. Yeah. Wow, look at that, that's broke off there. So it turns out we've come to the down, I think it's the down tunnel, the one that's not accessible. Wow, I'm not going through that. So let's have a look at it. So the footpath's over there. Wow, we might as well look while we're here. Now I've got saturated and fell over and everything else. This is all for you guys. Look at the water running down here. So look at this. So this is the other tunnel, which is notoriously water, oh wow, I'm not going in there. Notoriously waterlogged anyway. Wow. There's fallen trees, all sorts here. You see the water coming down here. So I think we've got to go over there. 
So what we'll do is retrace, I see this is just the old trap bed. So that's all an electric box down there. We saw one of those down at the other side when I filmed it a while back. Old sleepers there or some. Right. So we're going to go up and over and round the other way. So I'm going back up there to Sam and Daisy, wherever they've gone, and up and over the top. Well, have a look at that. Oh, that's rather special. So that was stood somewhere here. So I've got to go back up there. Great. Anyway, so that's one side of the cutting we didn't think we were going to see. But that tunnel is really beautiful. Right, now as we've... Uh, so I've just been down there and got absolutely covered in it, as I'll show on a photo. And it turns out, you just follow this path and you get to the easily accessible tunnel on this side. <sighs> Words fail me. Let's give you some idea. This is me at the minute, absolutely covered in it. There's Sam, not covered in it, it's just dirty feet. So this is the old second track which I think was the tunnel is slightly longer, but as I've just shown you, totally inaccessible. So it would have come down here and the other tunnels over there. So this is the tunnel I've just been to down here. The track would come this way and under this bridge, which looks beautiful, by the way. This is like a farm access bridge, I think. And then this is the proper path. Sam. Welcome to the world of tunnels. And then that way, where Daisy's modelling, takes us to, I'm going to say Northampton, but I think it's I've gone the wrong way around, but I'll correct it if I'm wrong. I think Kelmarsh is that way. And then this way takes us into Oxenden Tunnel. The side you can get in. So of course it was only a single track. This was the side that was built first. Uh, which is about 453 yards, I do believe, and that side's 462. There's an air vent in the middle, which I'll show you a picture of above ground as well, because we can get to it. And the, the track split here. There was double track all the way down there. Then it split over there where I've just been and nearly fallen in. And then this side was the up track, I do believe, and that's the down, or it might be the other way around. I'll confirm that. So it's all coming from memory. Concrete structure there. Oh yeah. Can you see it? Well, I'll look at that on the way back. We've got to go back this way because the car's up there. Mm. I know. Mm. Made my first one a bit easier. This is not the hardest tunnel I've ever gone into. It Believe me, nice. that sounded awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the. Hardest <laughs> railway tunnel I've ever been into. There That's we go. Better. That sounds better. So just down here. They said get a white dog look. Look Yeah, well, she's gone into camouflage That's mode. So let's go down here. And then we enter the tunnel. So here we go. Oxenden Tunnel. On the former Northampton and Mark Arbor line. Already done Kelmarsh. And we're just about to do Sam's first railway tunnel. Yeah. How do you feel, Sam? Excited. There's a dog in there and it can stay in there as well. <laughs> Sounds like a wolf. So this is slightly different to Kelmarsh. Sort of oval design, of course, known by the train drivers as rat holes because it was so tight for the more modern trains. It's closed about 81, this finally gave way. There we go. Now was it 418 metres? Which is about 453 yards, I think, from memory. There we go, look at that. So of course at the other at Kelmarsh we saw all the drainage down here. And this is uh, This is really pretty. Lots of stonework, blue and red brick, a mixture, and there goes Sam in. Bye Sam!
Yeah. There we go. Looks a bit wet in here. Also, we've had days of flooding, so it's going to be a bit gruesome. So, we've got some markers straight away, distance markers. You see the, are you grabbing photos, Sam? See the distance markers there. Now, apparently, these were known as rat holes back in the day because it was so difficult to get your train through here without scratching the sides. And apparently, about halfway, there's a slight adjustment in the angle, which was known to tra train drivers, because it's where they used to catch it. Now we're gonna have a look for that today, see what we can see. So you see the markers on the walls there? I say about 81, I do believe it finally shut. But uh, obviously, it was open um, to tr to goods mainly until it closed. You like in the tunnel, Daisy? Now that's a refuge, so the refuges have been filled in to stop people jumping out on people. They're just a small, where people used to stand. I've filmed loads of them over the yonks. Over the years, but there's a book in there, look. There we go. See the old markers here and everything's still intact. Is that still soot on it? Yeah, that's soot. Get it off the, off of the uh, trains, obviously. Off the exhausts. There is a ventilation shaft halfway, so we'll see that in a moment. Well, look at that, that is a... <coughs> well, this one's still a public footpath, so it's a bit more, um, a bit more civilized than <coughs> some of the ones I've been in. But that's nice there, isn't it? The salt and the iron coming out the bricks and the ground behind it. Now apparently the, the, the other tunnel, which I fell into earlier, suffers more with flooding. This one doesn't as much, apparently. So we'll look over there. Now when we go about halfway, we should see an air vent. Yeah, some people coming the other way because it's a cycle route and I'd say just a public footpath so you see the somebody's lifted those off the wall people just can't leave things alone they have to break them Daisy's not bothered, is she? No. She's just getting on with it. See some of the mark. Look at this here, Sam. Look at that. That's just salt and the lime coming out the out the bricks. Big old puddles here. Oh, no. Daisy's walking round them successfully. Now people have ripped them away from the wall trying to I don't know what they're trying to do, but oh this is bad here. This is really beautiful. Look at that. Just caused by water ingress. You get dripped on here. Yeah. <clears throat> you 
it's about halfway apparently, but you can probably walk see it with the naked eye. Wow. It's really, really sooted up though, because I guess it was in use for quite a number of years, really. And even though we like to think steam trains were the ones that caused all the soot, the soot was mainly diesel fumes. Lots of bit of oxide coming through there. Wow, look at that. How are you finding your first tunnel? Quite enjoying it. A bit different, aren't they? I'm going to get a shaft of light. Right, people approaching, ruining my video. Should be keeping quiet. I think they're psychics, I'm not sure. They don't know. That is the air vent. There we go. On the air vent. Hi, right. mate. You're right. Look at that. I'll get. I'll grab a photo in a minute. We'll do it on the way back. <coughs> you see this co this brickwork around the uh, elliptical brickwork. <laughs> Hi. Look at that, that's a really good one. See the brickwork is. That's the ominous view behind you, look, when you just see the. If you look back, look, Sam, you just see the. Uh, without the lights. Just see the air vent. Uh, I think it's here. It's a slight alteration apparently in the direction of the tunnel, which if you look where we've been, that's pretty much straight. And then if you come back here, it's like there's a little kink in it just here, which it probably is what they're talking about. It's just there. It does look a bit. Yeah, you see, it just skews off a little bit, doesn't it, at the end there. Look at this soot here, it's mad. I think that's it there. And then we go, look at the soot there, it must be. So length them the tip of my finger deep. Just sort. That is mad. Big puddle there. I'll sort of just cave that one in a bit, but. There's a man in there. No headphones though. So this is the refuge. This is how refuges used to work. When they were working in the tunnel, when a train came, they'd stand in there. That was mainly for Sam, not mainly for the viewers. <laughs> and we go all the way to this end. And we should be out the end here. Sunshine in there. So I say this is the original tunnel. Next door was redug when, or dug when they put it up to two lines. So original single track and the webs. A spider's webs on there. 
can see them all the way down there, look. Oh, isn't that weird? I've never seen that before. That's different. It's the same this side as well. It's just covered in spiders' webs. Look at it. I've never seen that in any of the tunnels I've done. Mind that, mind that, but there's a big puddle there. I'll come out the other end. And that is Oxygen Tunnel. So the other tunnel is over there, which we've already just seen, which you saw me falling into at the beginning. So it's slightly different from Cow Marsh. Cow Marsh, we had a big drainage ducts down the side, but the design is roughly the same. That's beautiful. What a lovely walkthrough as well. That's been a real beauty, hasn't it? I like that. Lovely. They're quite addictive. I've done a few. Uh. This stonework up here is absolutely it's glorious. Isn't it? Yeah. Built to last, you see, nice bit of blue brick as well. Look at that. Built to last forever. Narrow, yeah, it's a really I say they were called rat they called them the rat holes because they were so narrow. The train drivers didn't like them, I heard. Well, I'm only going what I've read. So if anybody tells me any different, then please tell me. Way different. Look at that. Beautiful. This side looks wider than the other. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It may be slightly different. <clears throat> Look at that. Right, so that's the Oxenden Tunnel, our first tunnel of 2024, and Sam's first ever tunnel. How was it, Sam? I enjoyed it. It was good. 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 I'm glad you enjoyed that. Can I have a longer one next time? Oh, well, have le less of that, please. Thank you. Some people. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that's Oxenden Tunnel. I'll put the details on the screen as we've been going along. I've already fallen down one bank, so I'm not going to look at I've shown you the other tunnel as well. Really recommend coming in and having a look at this, probably in slightly better weather. Yeah, it's, it's very very muddy today um, but definitely worth a look I'll put all the details on the screen as usual what three words etc and this is a public footpath so I do recommend coming down here and having a look so uh, thanks again for watching please like and subscribe share with your friends anything anything to help me with the channel this year and loads more content coming up so uh, I'll see you all soon take care bye